over the next eight days. There's eight divisions in the National Football League. This will take us up to Labor Day weekend, Ooh. after which it is the lead up to week one. <laughs> oh, man. So uh, each day we're going to predict a division, and we're doing the AFC West first. And I'm just going to counsel you, TJ, mm-hmm. and you, Chris. Uh-oh. Tread lightly. <laughs> I, had That's, the, I picked the Chiefs last the, year. So the that, Kansas, City, I, I'm good, man. Kansas City Chiefs fans are, are the danger. <laughs> I'm good. Okay? Well, I, I don't have to read about it on X, so they can come at Chris, me. Chris, you go first. Uh, okay, I like the Chiefs to win the division <laughs> because that. they're awesome, and they're probably going back to the Super Bowl. Uh, I think the Chargers make the playoffs uh, like they did last year. I see a big leap. Herbert's going to be in that MVP talk. Uh, I really like what they're doing. Uh, Brandon Staley's job is safe. I think Denver's going to be third. I think they're going to be a lot better than people think. I don't know what people think. I think people think they're not going to be that good. But I think Russell Wilson's lean, mean, and Sean Payton has his whole legacy kind of riding on Uh, fixing this guy. No, he doesn't. His whole legacy. Come on. All right, you guys. I'm telling you. And then the Raiders aren't going to be very good at all. (laughs) Chiefs, Chargers, Broncos. Raiders. TJ Jefferson, what do you have over there? I mean, it's like Brockman and I are simpatico on oh. this. I have the exact same thing. Oh. I got the Raiders at Fort. Look, I don't want no beef with the Raiders fans. I'm going to say either. that right I like now. Them. I don't oh. want no beef. I don't want no smoke. Let's treat us like vegans and vegetarians. I just think you're the fourth best team out of these four. So I kind of went back and forth. At first, when I submitted this, I had the Broncos at two and the Chargers in three. And then I thought about it because. The Chargers tend to do Charger-type things, right, Chris? Correct. And and, and as someone whose team is also noted for doing kind of boneheaded things, I I can say that. But I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt, Rich. So I moved them up to two. I have Denver at three. And then as long as Patrick Mahomes is still has has two working knees and and one-and-a-half ankle, because they don't even need both ankles, as we (laughs) saw, uh, the Chiefs, I got them number one in the division. All right. uh, The Vegas Raiders are not going to uh, be without Josh Jacobs in this season. I I believe um, Vic Tafer of The Athletic, he came on last week and said Jacobs will be back week one. I think he will be back week one. We had Joe Banner, the longtime executive of this league, say that what Saquon should have done was hold out yeah. all preseason long. Skip week one. And, and, and even potentially skip week one. Like, make it make it really dicey for the Giants to skip, but, but to say, you know, this is a great taste of what's going to happen next year. And it looks like Josh Jacobs is doing that. But I think he will be back. And I think the Raiders are going to be better than you think. I'm going to put my eggs in that basket, except for third place this year, not first. (laughs) And the one thing I will say, I do think, again, the Los Angeles Chargers should be better. I am looking forward to seeing what Kellen Moore is going to do with this yeah, offense and absolutely. what Justin Herbert's going to look like. And Quentin Johnston from TCU and Mike Williams, can you please stay healthy? And same thing with Keenan Allen mm-hmm. and same thing with the offensive line. And same thing with the D. Like pretty much everybody is always getting hurt there. Let's just see if what happens when you stay healthy. I do agree with you, Chris, that they should make the playoffs as yeah. well. And I think the Raiders, you know, I'm going to the high register there. I think the Raiders are a sneaky team. Like, this is a sneaky division to get three in. I, I just, again, I think Jimmy G is the exact vessel that McDaniels wants. And Devontae Adams is still Devontae freaking Adams. Yeah. And Renfro, and if they all stay healthy, like, let's see what they can do. And the Broncos, man... They are the shrug emoji team. I I do not know how this is all going to look, but I will push back on that Sean Payton's legacy is on the line. His legacy is firmly entrenched with what he did in New Orleans. Now, if he does not if so-called fix Russ this year, guess what's going to happen? They'll get rid of Russ. I mean, that's no, it. And really? I know I, I don't, I don't know. next year they're going to be stuck with him, too, contractually. Yeah. Then Russ will be gone. Russ is the guy with legacies on the line. Russ is. And I don't know how the weapons are going to look. Cortland Sutton, can he be the one that everybody believes that we've been waiting for? Jerry Judy. I know he can. Jerry Judy. Like, let's see it. Um, again, I'll, I need to see it to believe it. 
and uh, I, I believe they can do very well this year, but it's still the Chiefs division. The one thing I will say about the Chiefs is take a look at their receiving room. Yep. It's going to be a lot of Kelsey. Can Sky Moore step in here? Kadarius Tony, is he going to stay healthy or what? No idea. Because if Kadarius Tony has, you know, the, the questionable rate, ranking and rating as much as he did for the Giants, you know, uh, I, I hear you. Uh, how talented he is. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, the, the, the receiving Just, core yeah. scares me a little bit. Justin here. Ross, Justin Watson, MVS, Rasheed Rice. I mean, who knows? Nicole Hardman's with the Jets. Yeah, even. they lost a lot of Juju's with New England. Exactly. They lost some good players. But is it like the old Patriots offense? Doesn't matter. You Doesn't got, matter. Well, got the quarterback and right. who cares? And you got the tight end and, and you got Jarek McKinnon scoring wherever, you know, and uh, the Pacheco are, scoring and the rest of them. Yep. Yeah. And remember, Rasheed Rice was someone who Mahomes worked out with before That's the right. draft and kind of gave his input. And then that every they, time you them. think they're out, they just do it with different people. Yep. So they could be these are just these yeah. are just warnings. Dynasty. But get Chris Jones signed, man. Week eight. I mean, Chief schedule. What do we yeah, let's put it up. What do we got? Put the Chiefs up. I mean, obviously Detroit at Jacksonville, home for Chicago, at the Jets, at Minnesota, a Thursday night game against Denver, the Chargers, and then at Denver, that's week eight. I mean, you're going to go Detroit at Jacksonville, home for Chicago, at Jets, at Minnesota, Denver, Chargers. I mean, that's based on, again, last year, they should they should win most of them. Do we get, like, Keckner or Riggle to call in and go over the Chiefs' schedule? Oh, I think Stone Street. Street would be too close. Seven, to, Seventeen. And I think he's yeah. too close. Yeah. To no, 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 no. He's no, realistic. Man. Eric's real close to the team. He might not want to give him a loss. Is all I'm saying. And that's our our AFC West Oof. preview. You Can know I what? Should I do that in the bars this week when I'm in KC. Just ask people. I'll the tell you what. Yeah. The, oh, the, yeah, the, the, the Chiefs have yeah. an interesting Good first content. month. <laughs> an interesting first. You know, take your shot at the king month. Detroit, Jacksonville, Bears, Jets. Take your shot at the King. Mm. Month. But you bet not miss. True. Right? I mean, I mean those are the teams that are feeling themselves the great. First five, first six weeks, seven. Well, I mean, at Minnesota's that's that's not a They won thirteen games last year. I know year. that, but that's not taking your shot at the King. You're talking about Detroit. Jacksonville, Chicago Jets are all feeling like we have vastly improved. Our end of season last year, certainly for Detroit and Jacksonville, are like we are coming in with momentum and we are going to put our cards on the table and show everyone we are different and who better to do it against than the Super Bowl champs and Mahomes were coming at the king. And Chicago, I mean, didn't finish great last year. Neither did the Jets, but... They feel improved, and they're going to come at the king. That's an interesting first month. Hey, even before just a, the buy, just another, just offering a couple of caveats, while at the same time saying, "We're still paying rent in your world, Chiefs Kingdom." Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 